excuse me for a minute because I've got locked down here. It's going to be cut soon, but it's, yeah, it's getting in my way. I feel it flopping all around my head. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Good Color Photo. I haven't been here for a while, it's been a long time, so I'm gonna apologize straight away. Um, if you haven't already figured it out from the intro, today we're gonna to be reviewing a photo book. <laughs> So let's have a look at the book. Um, here it is. It's oh, there you go. It is a um, landscape book. It's a lay flat. It's, I've got the leather finish on the cover, and I've got a little bit of writing on the front, just down below here. And I also have a bit of writing on the spine, as you may have saw in the clips earlier. Um, there's about 60 pages that I've added into this book. Uh, I think you get the choices of like 24 to 26 pages for a certain price and then 34 to 36 pages for another price and then I think um, the price in increases as you add more pages. Um, this one was from a trip to Iceland that we took back in March and we got some really good pictures and basically I just decided to make a photo book of our holiday together with me and my girlfriend. Um, hopefully as a bit of a keepsake for us. Uh, what I will say is that a lot of the images in here aren't all from my DSLR. I do shoot on a 6D Mark II with, if you're interested. Um, but we also used our phones as well um, for the times when we were probably just out and about doing a bit of cheeky food photography here and there. Um, so we both used, we both got Samsung phones and um, if you're interested in what phones they were, it was a, a Note 10 Plus and um, the S10 as well. So that's all the cameras that were used in the creation of this book. So just flicking straight into it, um, straight in we've got some really good images and um, because it's a lay flat I'll show you this one straight away and um, that one is the Blue Lagoon there. Uh, it's a really really good image going across the two pages and with it being a lay flat you don't lose any information in that centre crease um, looking at it I mean I'm having a good look I don't see any issues at all I've already inspected the book myself and had a good look at some of the images and they're great the the layouts that you put into there you can put your own little layouts and put a picture of yourselves and a bit of writing another image all different sizes um, same again you can just put like a whole picture on one page some different pictures on another a bit of writing in there as well if you wish to do so um, you can put multiple pictures on a page again utilizing the lay flat as well and um, so if you do have really nice big large landscapes that you want to take a picture and have them really like in detail so you can look at them really well you can do that um i don't know if you could pick it up on the camera with a bit of the shine off the lights but this was uh, the the photo glossy paper uh, i personally chose that because of the images that i took i wanted them to be a bit more bright and vivid but you do have the options of other styles of paper as well um, which is a really good thing. Back to the book, it's a really good quality book. Um, I'm really pleased with it. I'm, I'm pleased with the way I created it. Um, took a bit of time, obviously added a few extra pages. If you're interested to know what the total cost of this particular one that I've got, I think before the postage and packaging it came to roughly about £116. Um, and then obviously with the postage and packaging I think it went up to like £121. Um, I think it's four ninety nine for the postage and packaging in the UK. A bit expensive, um, I will admit, but this is um, what I would say geared up to someone creating a more professional photo book, hence the professional line photo books which we're reviewing today. Um, what I would say is with the books, um, I would use them for 
like if you're keeping a, a very nice keepsake for something for the future if it's going to be a, a wedding photo album i would definitely say it's a great product to use i don't see any issues with the paper the print the finish of the book um creating it was fairly easy as well i, I have used a software before if you if you've watched my videos before you would have seen that I, I ran through the software if you haven't then feel free to, to go onto the page and have a look at that one as well um, and that will give you a bit more of an idea of what the software for Soul Digital is like. Um, all in all, I'm going to keep it nice and short and sweet. I think it's a really good product. I'm really happy with it. Um, my girlfriend hasn't actually seen this yet, so you'll probably see this before she does. But like I say, I mean, it's a really, really good whoa, It's a really, really good book. Um, really, really, really happy. Couldn't say that enough. Um, I know I've reviewed um, products before. And I've been pleased with that. And this is just another one to say that I am pleased with too. Um, I'd always, if you're a photographer on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, if you ever do get the opportunity to, to take Sol Digital up on, on one of these offers that they send out, definitely do it. Um, you won't be disappointed, in my opinion. I know there's a few people who've had problems. What I would say is to always use their software it's geared up to give you the best user experience i'd say i kept it all to what i already knew so with a little bit of experience using the software before i knew i was going to get decent prints um i'm very happy with them to be honest there's nothing bad in here there's a few really dodgy um let me just quickly get through to them a few really dodgy night photographs that i took at sea wobbly <laughs> with a long exposure but they, they came out good i mean um, they're not too bad. I mean, to the to the eye, they're really good. Um, on the camera now, from from here, it might not look too good, but um, they looked really bad. And I, I I threw them in the book just to see how well they printed, and you do see a a tiny bit of grain in there because it was taken so late at night. I see a few of my my editing errors that are in the image too, but that's that's me. That's not the printing. I knew that I knew those errors were in there, but I wanted to throw those images in there just to see, and they look they look great. I'm really happy with them. Um, so if you are thinking about a photo book, I would I would recommend that. I'd recommend any of their photo book products. To be honest, I have used others before, and if you like what you see, leave a comment below. If you've used it already and you're watching this review after creating your own book please leave a comment below tell me what your experience is like and what you think of the product you've made and any links to anyone else creating these videos i'd love to watch them i've seen a couple already and i'm really interested to see what other people think about it as well so that's me that's my style digital photo book and hopefully i'll see you soon see ya Thank <laughs> you.